basically with the exception of the one i generated wealth in in each you know two of the three scenarios sure based on that and i think that's why if you talk to anybody who's owned a home that's just how it happens like that's just part of the american dream is not only home ownership but also the the appreciation and the value of the home like how many assets do you own that appreciate like that that have the potential to even appreciate like that yeah of course and so that, yeah you can do your investments your retirement funds and all that but and, cl and clearly it's not a blanket statement there are times yeah, where course. people have gotten hosed and yeah and and that's that that's part of that's what weighed on me that was so part much. of your reluctance yes. right? that's what you just said. saw you everybody like mm -hmm. going to the tank on that yes yeah there was, but there was, was like you gotta buy we're at the valley johnny we, you're at the valley you have to buy right exactly. now it's on the low and, and that's the part i couldn't really grasp until i was like that's the water man you're thirsty drink it yeah it really took that because i i went through that time on the radio talking about you do not be buying a home right now. Look this what is just insanity. happened. Everyone lost their bills. Yeah, exactly. And I remember me and Rob would talk about the flip side saying, well, what you're not taking in, you know, because you were every man, right? This, what you were saying was how many, many people felt. And that's one of the things we decided but even, at the even beginning. Even leading into the bust. I was mm -hmm. talking about it as it was building up. And oh, I was yeah. like, oh, my gosh, yeah, this, is, this is a bubble. I don't know how yeah. everybody doesn't see it. And then when it happened, it's you like, were saying I, that when 2005? Yeah, oh yeah, on the radio. Sure. Oh, yeah, like building in through it. And I was, I'm not an, I wasn't educated, you know, but you just it was it got just, that common sense. It just seemed pretty obvious. And uh, and then we come out of it, and I but I couldn't quite grasp like, man, it doesn't get any better than this. You want an entry point that's like almost impossible to lose on, mm -hmm. like really truly. You want to? I'm a numbers guy. You want to have a bunch of numbers on your side? This is the time to buy if there ever was one. But it took it took you guys to do that. And well, I I want to. I'm sorry. Um, I wanted to read what Mike. There's a guy named. Oh, we have a caller on the air. Let's <laughs> go ahead and take the call in the air. But I want to continue with this conversation. There was a guy named Mike that sounds like old Johnny C. Oh yeah. And he just put in uh, all his drunk monkeys of he wants to buy a home, but the drunk monkeys were stopping him. Oh, uh, the drunk. Monkeys. I'd love to read it just to share the audience and and then get your reaction on it because sure. you were there at one point. Totally. But let's go ahead and take the call first. Is that okay? Excellent. Who we got there, Jim? We got Kelly, and she has a question about credit. Kelly, welcome to Florida Talk Real Estate. Hi, Kelly. Good morning. Hey, guys. Johnny C., missed your face. Listen to you faithfully for years. Um, Thank you. I think I uh, donated many diapers on a lost bet from um, my son's father. Oh, I love it. Way back in the day. Oh, fantastic. Now I got yeah. a face with the name. Thank you for uh, still tuning in all these years later. And thank you very oh, much. Absolutely. But I mean, I, I actually have a situation that I mean, you guys might be able to help me with. So um, we've been Airbnb in it for the last two years. Um, my credit is horrible. Um, all of the funds from the county or whatever to help you move after COVID, everything has gone downhill. And I mean, what I'm paying and what I'm doing, um, I, I just, I need some help getting things together and try to make a plan to get forward. I mean, there has to be a way for people to get out of the hole after COVID to buy a house in this rental market. There is. Yeah, yeah there is a way. Mm -hmm. And I think it's like, you need some help. And I don't think you're alone. And that sentiment where it's just like, there's so many things that you don't know and where do you start? Yep. And so I think the, the easy answer to where do you start is like right here. Like you have professionals, uh, a, a group of professionals here who see exactly. all of this. Like we, we, we've we seen people who are ready to go and we see people who are just like far, far from ready, but there's a, there's, there is a way. And whether that's a three month, six month, nine month, two year, like I talk to people who are, they can't buy a home for three years because they just went through, you know, a, a bankruptcy. And that's okay. It's like, okay, well, the next three years, you should focus on these things. And so I would say a lot of time people have been struggling financially, have credit issues, and credit issues are probably the first thing that you need to start um, uh, attacking. Uh, some of it is, is about like cleaning up negative, but mostly it is about uh, optimizing your positive credit moving mm -hmm. forward. That's right. And it's really not that difficult to do, but it does oftentimes require some changes in how you use credit and perhaps even establishing some new credit. So yeah, I mean, the, 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 the easy answer is like, Hey, give us a call. Yeah, give us a call. We, we do, you know, 15 minute, 20 minute conversation to start. And then we just, that's kind of how you get the ball rolling. And it does take some effort to do the things, but. Uh. And, and Kelly, we have tons of people from the radio show and off air 
uh, that uh, come to us with exactly your situation. We're Mike and I are working with a guy named Scott right now and his family. He came to us five, five years ago and he just no not enough credit, not enough money. We kept talking to him. He had a long conversation with Mike, so he knew where the goal was. He worked and worked towards it. And uh, now we're in contract to buy a house. In fact, I'm going down there to follow up with an inspection. So it can happen. And then we were experts in using the government programs that are available to help people, which is like down payment assistance. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, I mean, it's to me, and I mean, I guess I'm um, a unique situation where, um, yeah, like what I'm paying a month could be a five bedroom house on Singer Island. I was going to say, if you're Airbnb, being yeah. that is that to me seems so like costly, yeah. unless you got a really unique situation. So it doesn't sound like it's like an income issue. It's just, you know, qualifying for a mortgage is about credit. It's about debt to income and it's about cash position. And so you got to get the credit to a qualifying level. You have to understand uh, your debt to income looks like so that you know if you need to like reduce that. You can't usually make, unless you're self-employed, you can't make a lot of changes on the income side. Self-employed can, right? Because they kind of control their own destiny as far as taxes. But you should understand that. And you should also have a target goal for how much cash you think you're going to need to purchase. And you with down payment assistance, like this can be done with, you know, I don't know. Say it's it's thousands of dollars required, but it's not tens of thousands uh -huh. with with the 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 programs and low down payment options. Exactly, exactly. But it's all it's that cycle that like Johnny C was saying about uh, we're gonna go get Cuban coffee. Relax. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's my kiddos here. Oh, I could um, use a Cuban it, coffee it's right now. Oh my God! There's the new bakery down here. I'm not gonna. I'm um, Pinecrest. The military is amazing. Anyway. Um, it's the cycle of being able to pay for this with cash and influx. And then you're like all this money. And then there's, I, I don't know how to put Like there's no, like, this is what I'm paying, but I, I could do more with this, but I don't know how. Yeah. I think, I think just, I, if we talked uh, for 20 minutes, we can get mm -hmm. you started. And I'm not saying it's gonna be easy because it could take some time and it could take some effort and it could take some, like a concerted effort. Like you have to do these things and kind of like, okay, now go do them. I can't do them for you, but I can say now go do them. And like, just, you have to really kind of get disciplined about it. Sometimes that's the hardest part. Like even in my own life, there's certain things mm -hmm. I'm not disciplined about and certain things I am. Yeah. And it'd be, it'd be hard for me to be disciplined about those things. And it's usually like, what do I like doing? Or where do I, you know, what, what is causes me the most aggravation, but, um, it's definitely possible and it's definitely, e uh, uh, relatively easy to determine what you need to do. Like, here's what you should focus on. Here's where you should take this money and, so and spend it. And, and so I, I just need professionals like you guys to yeah. do that. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, I hope I didn't waste your time. No, I mean, not this is an excellent, all the time. And I want to say you're not alone in this. Like, so.